Uh, today in my uh, bite-sized review of some of the granular detail in the tragic Noah Dunham case, I want to take a sideways glimpse uh, at um, Noah's book collection. And I'm putting aside my investigator's hat today. And I just want to just take and cherish, take a breath, just to consider what a wonderful mind Noah had and how much of this is mirrored in his uh, little mobile book collection. These are the books he took with him on his fateful journey towards Cave Hill, though uh, obviously he went in a different direction. Uh, I think it's well documented he took with him the 12 Rules of Life, a book by Jordan Peterson, a uh, self-help guru and philosopher, very much on the right wing and, and uh, celebrating and espousing traditional uh, family values, as it were. This is a book his mom had bought him after he professed an interest in it, and he certainly was very much taken with it. What's not much known is that he also had with him Gulliver's Travels, the Johnson Swift masterpiece, and why not? Uh, though it has to be said, there are very few 14-year-olds uh, running around with Gulliver's Travels, uh, a well-read copy, and of course, the 12 Rules of Life, equally well-read. But that was... Uh, Noah and there just simply uh, weren't very many people and young uh, boys like Noah. He was a one-off, a one in a million. The other book he had, which I think uh, is also a seminal kind of book, a rite of passage for older teenagers, and that is, uh, and, and, and students indeed, and that is Kurt Vonnegut's seminal novel, Slaughterhouse Five. I haven't read it, but I, I've talked to those who have, and it's, it's about transient realities, and various states of being, you know, it's, it's a, uh, also a masterpiece. This is uh, a young man, Noah, who, uh, who knew um, and sought out the classics, and he certainly um, ha had uh, some of them in his rucksack. Uh, he also had with him um, a book on St. Paul's missionary journeys, and St. Paul, these are the early Gospels as recorded in the, in the New Testament of when St. Paul spread uh, the news about early Christianity around the Middle East and Cyprus and Syria uh, as we as we know it today. And uh, I suppose some people are going to say, well, are these connected? Well, I think let's leave that thought for another day. Let's just marvel at the wonderful curiosity and love of learning that this young man had. And let's celebrate and pay, you know, dutiful tribute to his mom and his family who nourished that learning and also to the school, St. Malachy's, who helped develop it and nurture it along with his mom. Uh, just have a little pause for thought on that. And of course, it's traumatic to consider, uh, you know, the potential, you know, we've lost as a society. And of course, mom and the family have lost uh, for their loved one. Uh, but it's also worth noting that I know mom has also celebrated every minute she's had with Noah. So for the moment, I'll place my investigator's hat to one side and just take a little pause for thought on what a little cauldron of learning and curiosity that Noah was. We'll bring you some more bite-sized chapters over the next few days.